unexpected surprise. DSS shocks Namdekano and IPOP with fresh good news. See what was announced that made the beer friends happy. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Following extensive deliberations, an independent medical professional conducted an examination of Nnamdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Thursday. Kano's lead counsel, Haloi Jimako, confirmed that the doctor selected by Kano himself possessed the necessary expertise for the evaluation. Eji McCall shared his development after a routine meeting with Kano at the Department of State Service TSS facility. In a statement on social media platform X, Eji McCall expressed relief over the breakthrough, highlighting the challenges encountered in arranging the examination which had been delayed since the previous year. He also mentioned that the legal team met with Kano during the visit, emphasizing their unwavering determination despite the obstacles faced. Previously, Ijimako had accused the DSS personnel of instructing Kano's assets to an independent medical practitioner. During Kano's recent court appearance, he disclosed his health concerns, including congestive heart failure and criticized DSS for allegedly neglecting his condition. Can stress the importance of upholding the, his rights, particularly his right to fair uh, treatment and access to proper medical care. He voiced concerns about the authorities' intentions, alleging that they aim to prolong his life only to exploit is iterating health as a means of control. The examination makes a significant development in Kano's ongoing legal battle and underscores the importance of enduring, ensuring his fundamental rights are upheld, including access to adequate health care as the legal proceedings continue. Kano's health remains a physical point, with his legal team striving to safeguard his well-being and rights throughout the process. Message about Namdi Kano's independent medical examination carries significant implications for both him and the indigenous people of Biafra. Firstly, it serves as a symbol of Kano's resilience and determination to ascertain his right despite challenges by personally selected selecting the doctor and ensuring the examination took place Kano reinforces his leadership and commitment to transparency for ipop the message may bluster mora among supporters demonstrating Kano's ongoing fight for justice and highlighting the movement unwavering dedication. It also underscores the importance of assets to health care and fair treatment, relying support for Kano's case, and potentially increasing solidarity within the, within the pro Biafra movement. However, the message also amplifies concerns about Kano's health raising questions about his well-being and the authorities' handling of his case. It may further Galivar's effort to secure his release and address border issue of human rights and justice in Nigeria. That is interesting. Nigerians. In a significant development, Nnamdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, underwent a thorough medical examination conducted by an independent medical practitioner after enduring several months of uncertainties regarding his health condition. 
this evaluation comes and Ms. Cano's persistent claims of battling congestive cancer further exacerbated by his assumption that the Department of State Service DSS has neglected his medical needs. During a, a recent court appearance, Kano vocalized his health struggles, highlighting the alleged indifferences of DSS operative towards addressing his deteriorating health. Aloy Jimako, who is Kano's late counsel, had earlier criticized the DSS for obstructing Kano's assets to independent medical care. So in a recent update via a statement released on X platform, Ejimako expressed relief as Kano finally received the medical attention he had been denied. He disclosed that a competent doctor, hand-picked by Kano himself, thoroughly examined the IPOB leader, making a significant breakthrough in his medical care. Ijimako underscored the challenges faced in securing the, examina securing the examination, please pardon me, emphasizing the prolonged delay since last year when such intervention should have occurred. Despite the obstacles, Ijimako reaffirmed the unwavering commitment of the legal team to Kano's case. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.